Hey guys, it's Liz, and I'm here to share another Halloween project with you. I was at the Dollar Tree just the other day, and I found these little menu uh, plaque things. I don't know what you would call them. They're just like these little hanging signs. Um, and I think they're made out of chipboard or um, wood. I'm not sure. But I thought about getting a couple of these and altering them. So let me show you what I made. Go ahead, Kayla. You can take it off now. There it is. I decided to make an altered slash layout. <laughs> and uh, again, this is a Halloween theme. And the camera is going to be a little bit shaky because it's a little bit big to fit in the frame. So I'm going to have to hold it up for you guys. Okay, so basically we started off with one of those signs like I was showing you. And what I did, let's see here, I painted it black. Well, actually I painted it dark gray. And then I used a crackle medium, if you guys can see some of that crackle. And then I gave it a coat of black paint. Okay, as you can see. We've got that frame, that little um, squiggle thing on the top, I don't know, a little flourish, whatever you call it. It's just cut out of chipboard, used one of my dies. And I painted that dark gray as well. And I dabbed it with some gesso. If you guys could see that, there's like little bumps in there. And then I went ahead and uh, painted it gray and inked it with black. And I really like the way that came out. Okay, as far as the papers that I used, I used the Teresa Collins um, uh, Haunted Hollows. I believe it's from last year's Halloween collection. I used the papers throughout. Okay, as you can see there. And then what I did is I used some of that creepy cloth again in the background, as you can see, I cut out a circle using corrugated cardboard. I dabbed it a little here and there with some gesso, some gray paint, and some black paint as well. You guys can see that. I really like the way that came out. Okay. And then we've got, uh, let's see, here in the corner, that's a chipboard piece from the Teresa Collins collection. And I'm sorry, you guys, for being so shaky. And I used glossy accents on it. Okay, there we have a little plastic spider that I bought at the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then these little guys here, these little sticks, are from Michaels. They're actually from the Christmas section. They're just one of those little Christmas picks. And I just cut it apart and I glued it on there. And let me see, I just glued little random pieces here and there. And we've got some flowers. The two big black flowers are Puffy Daisies by I Am Roses. And I used my Lindy's uh, Color Shot, the Midnight Rendezvous Raven, on those. I used three flowers, staggered them one on top of the other. And for the, those centers are actually really, really pretty, very shimmery. And they've got some little rhinestones in the middle. I picked those up at Hobby Lobby. They're, they're um, spare parts, I believe it's what it's called. It's, they're just brads and I use those for my flower centers. Okay, the two white flowers are from Recollections and they were already white. I just inked the edges a little bit with some black soot. Okay, and let's see, those little orange flowers, I've got one right there, two next to the bat cameo, and then another one here at the bottom. Those were white and I used, again, my Lindy's um, Color Shot in the hot, Poker orange, I believe that's what it's called. Okay, and I inked the edges with black on those as well. That bat cameo, I picked it up on eBay. Thought it was really cool. And I used that in the middle. And let's see, this spider web cutout, you guys can see here at the bottom, that's a recollection border piece from, I believe, um, last year's Halloween collection that you pick up at Michael's. I used that there. Okay, and here's the picture of my daughter. This is my youngest daughter, Kayla. And I, I did this shot in black and white, and I just glued it behind, um, well, in front of another piece of the patterned paper that I distressed all the edges on. And I used one of the little corner pieces here, little metal pieces from Michaels. And it was gold, but I used my rub and buff and silver to make it silver to go better with the layout. And then I inked, I uh, dabbed some paint on it, some black paint. Okay, 
And then let's see, we got these little flourishes. If you can see, there's one right there. And then I've got another one down here. And those uh, are from one of my dyes. It's a Sizzix dye. And I used some embossing powder, some black embossing powder. I really like the way those came out. And then I used some little rhinestones just to accent it a little bit. Okay, so those are some of the details there. Okay, and then down here we've got another chipboard piece from the collection. And that just says Halloween. I inked all the edges, glossy accented the letters, and then I sprinkled a little bit of glitter. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. I sprinkled a little bit of orange glitter on the top. Okay, for the bottom, I've got this pretty ribbon I picked up at Michael's. And yeah, it's got little dangly thingy, little dangly jewels. Sorry, guys. And I just adhered that with some glossy accents at the bottom and the little crystals just kind of hang there. So let me show you again everything. And I'm sorry for the camera being so shaky. Like I said, this is a, a bigger piece and it just doesn't fit all in the frame. So let's go back here. So there you are. I just decided to make, I guess it's like an altered project slash layout in one. And I really like it. And it hangs from just, um, it, this is the same, I guess, jute or rope that it came with. I just used that just to pick up the same color from the corrugated cardboard. So there you go. I'm just going to show you again the details real quick. And I really had a lot of fun with this. It was kind of cool because I can uh, um, just hang it, you know, as decor. And then also my little layout here. So it's really cool. I really like it. I'll just show you all the little details here so you guys can see. And then the other one I got in a different shape. This is like a tombstone. The other one I could probably use for a different holiday. So, but that's my project, you guys. I hope you guys like it. And I'm sorry for the camera again. Um, and these were a lot of fun to make, so if you guys have a chance, go pick some up at the Dollar Tree. I'd love to see what you guys make with them. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.